Good morning, my beautiful diamonds. Today is September 28th, and today we're going to talk about discouraged and discouragement, and we're focusing on Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Now, the fact is, if you are God's child, then your problems are his problems, and he's much better at fighting your battles and solving your problems than you or I will ever be. Our job is to trust him to work it all out. When we attempt to live our lives by our own wisdom and our own strength, we are committing the sin of pride. Once we adopt wrong thinking, a wrong thinking process, we are more vulnerable to the attack of the enemy. If we have tried to be a servant of God by following Jesus Christ, but have had the wind knocked out of us, we should not lose hope or think that Jehovah and Jesus cannot use us anymore. That is a deception to believe we shall never see. It is a deception, I'm sorry. If you believe that just because you are a Christian and a follower of Christ, that you will never see dark days. All of God's people do. We all have our moments of disappointment, dismay, pessimism, worry, and gloominess. However, the true man or woman of God does not stay there. Depression is only for a season and a short season if we have faith. Tribulation and trouble will come, but Jesus, he will always help you get through it. When we are down, we will not stay down. We shall rise again in this life and in the next one. Because Jesus loves us unconditionally. One thing that is helpful is to volunteer to help other people. Like I feel the best way, the best thing to do when you're feeling down or you're feeling depressed is to try to find someone you could be a blessing to. Because it's harder to be depressed when we are helping other people. Why not also try writing out on a piece of paper the many things that you have to be thankful for? These may include you having a family, you have great friends, you have a home and a roof over your head. How about a job? You have food on your table. It is hard to be depressed or discouraged when you are giving thanks and helping the less fortunate. Now, some scriptures I would like for you to consider is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, and lastly, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. And this came from my book, uh, Best Information Before Living Earth, Before Leaving Earth, Answers That Work. You can get it on Amazon if you're interested. So now it's time for us to hear our mini sermon for the day. Our sermon for today is coming from Philippians chapter 4, verse 9. Let's listen in. Hey family, it's Tim Timberlake, the author of The Art of Overcoming and a global ambassador for Biblica, a Bible ministry freely releasing God's word so that more people can be transformed through Jesus. Our verse for today is found in Philippians chapter 4, verse 9. This incredible scripture reads, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. As I read that scripture, I'm reminded of growing up in the 80s and the 90s and this constant debate of who is the greatest basketball player of all time. It's debatable, but my goat is Michael Jordan. Growing up in the 80s and 90s, there was a viral commercial that swept society and culture by storm, and it was called, I Want to Be Like Mike. There were kids and adults alike singing all over the world, like Mike, I want to be like Mike. And as I would see this commercial, I would grab my basketball, I would run outside to the pavement, and I would begin to practice what I saw Michael Jordan do in the commercial. I began to mimic and put into practice what I saw him doing because I wanted to be like Mike. This scripture is encouraging us to do just that. 
Paul is teaching us, whatever you've seen, whatever you've heard, whatever you have uh, watched me do, put it into practice. Mimic me as I mimic Christ. So the two things that I encourage you to do today, number one is this, live a life that is a reflection of Jesus Christ. What you read, what you hear, what you experience in and through Jesus, live a life that mimics that. I believe our lives will walk out whoever we mimic. And our lives are so much better when we are the reflections of Jesus Christ. The second thing I want to encourage you to do, this scripture that Paul wrote was written over 2,000 years ago in Greek. The Bible app has released some incredible features, and one of them is translations that allow us to cross-examine this scripture through multiple translations of the Word of God. I believe it will give you better understanding as you seek and search out God's word to know exactly what God meant. So there you have it, my beautiful diamonds. Doing the will of Jehovah God, which is to follow his son, Jesus Christ. Not just learning about God's will, but we have to put it into practice. So today we have to study what Paul taught us, and that's for us to model our lives after Jesus Christ. And then we could ask ourselves while we're reading our Bible, what is God teaching me about himself, myself, and other people? And how can I apply his teachings to my life? It's not just enough just to read the Bible, but you have to see what speaks to you, what reaches your heart so that your mind can be renewed. So keep those things in mind as you're reading. Our main objective and our main goal should be to become more and more Christ-like because that's the best and the only way that we can really show, demonstrate to Jehovah God how much we respect him, how much we love him, and how much we appreciate him by allowing his son to die in our behalf. So now, my beautiful diamonds, are you ready for your Bible trivi trivia questions? How well do you really know your Bible? I'm going to give you a treat today and give you four questions instead of three. How about that? Your first question is, what is the longest book of the Bible? Your second question, who wrote many of the Psalms? Next, what strange gift did King Herod give to his stepdaughter? You can find that at Matthew chapter 14, verse 6 through 11. And your bonus question for today, how did Jesus prove his power over nature? Matthew chapter 8, verse 23 through 27. So there you have it, my beautiful diamonds. Today is Thursday, and it's going to be a great Thursday because we know how much Jehovah, Jesus, and yes, even I love you incredibly. And I just want you to know that you are in the right place if you want to follow Jesus Christ, but you can't get out of your own way. If you're tired of being or feeling trapped in toxic relationships and don't know where to turn. If you know the torment of replaying negative, destructive thoughts in your head like a broken record and you don't know how to stop replaying those negative thoughts, or if you can't seem to get Satan the devil off your back, I'm here to let you know there is always a way out. And I'll tell you a lot of things from my own personal experience, because I'm no stranger to life's challenges. And I believe that Jesus saw fit to have me learn much of the things that I've learned by my experiences. And this is what I try to share with you. I try to share with you the things that I've been through so that I can help you. I want to see you. I want to see you win. That's all I have to say. Have a great day. Go out there and shine like the beautiful diamonds that you are.